I'm all right. How you doing? Um, uh, not doing so great, but yeah. I feel oh, like we all equally feel like. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like I was like, I'm doing great. Yeah, really? yeah. Like, I'm when you're actually singing, not you're doing. Like, great. Oh my god. Yeah. It's so crazy. You were like the last episode of Girlish. I was like, wait, nobody told me. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was like in October. Like, nah. Oh, perfect. It's all good. It's all good. But yeah, how was your weekend? Um, how you feeling? It was low key for mm-hmm. me. Okay. Mine was not low key. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't, yeah. Mine was not low key. Oh, yeah, I saw your story. <laughs> party, yeah. what, what, what? Work, work, work. Party, yeah. party, party. Yeah. yeah. I was busy, but yeah, I did so try good. to use yesterday to just kind of, like, I cancelled everything yesterday. I was so tired. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm glad I did that because mm-hmm. I needed to just prioritize resting awesome. for a day. You worked hard, played hard, played hard. Okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's what, that's what she basically did. Yeah. Um, <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um, huh. So, Bukola, tell me, when you get your nails done, <laughs> when you get your hair done, mm-hmm. when you buy new dresses, when you have your lashes on, you know, I feel like I know where this is going to <laughs> 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 when you do your, you know, makeup and whatnot, how do you feel? I feel amazing. Hmm. What do you tell yourself? I tell myself, you're a baddie. Yes, girl. Okay. Go queen. <laughs> okay. Show them. Yeah. Right. Nice. What about Fiona? Alien superstar. Okay. okay. <laughs> nice. So, here's my question or one of my questions. Do you only feel that way when you have all these things done? Nails, hair, makeup, everything, everything. New dress, blah, blah, blah. Do you only tell yourself, okay, alien, superstar, um, baddie, hottie, yeah. Do you only tell yourself that when you have all these things done? So not where I thought that was going. Yep. Also, <laughs> where did you think it was going, though? <laughs> Somewhere completely different. <laughs> like, um, you're going to see a man. <laughs> no, do you know what it is? Yeah. Should I answer the question first or tell you what I was tell, thinking? Tell, tell, tell. So, you know, like, sometimes... <laughs> Yeah. When like you're seeing someone and you're like, oh, what color do you think I should do my nails? What do you think? Oh, like, yeah. yeah. And like how they respond can really, really affect your mood. So I thought right. you were gonna go into no, that no, like no, no, later. No, no, no. That but that's, yeah, we do that. I do but, that. Yeah, but yeah. boy. Um, mm. but no, I feel honestly, I feel mm. I feel like a baddie all the time. I'm not gonna lie. Right. And it's mm. it's taken a long time to get there, but yeah, makeup on, makeup on, make makeup off. Mm. I feel good about myself. Mm-hmm. Um. I mean, I prefer my nails to be done. Okay. Do I still feel bad when they're not done? Mm. Indeed. Do I feel better when they are done? Of course. Okay. Um, you did say, you know, it took time mm-hmm. or whatnot. Yeah. Like, so what was the process? Ooh. Yeah. What was the process? I mean, like, so when you went, um, hmm, at what age did you realize or tell yourself, not necessarily age, when did you like tell yourself, okay, you know what? I don't have to like put myself down because I don't have makeup on or, you know, my nails done or whatnot. Like, I'm bad regardless of all these things i mean even if i don't have you know my hair mm. on check and something like you know yeah i think that that process really started to like mm. um, manifest itself mm-hmm. for me maybe around 25 i would say right and like now so i turned 30 in december just passed okay and i cut my hair like right I cut my hair all off and i have like new beginning like new beginning right mm. and i've always felt like i couldn't rock short hair like i've always felt like i wouldn't look good with short hair my face is too round mm. i'm too this or like it just wouldn't look nice and i remember even sitting in the chair to cut the hair if you see how many times i made them stop. right okay let's go no, yeah stop. yeah okay i'm ready okay no, like literally <laughs> we were there for so long mm-hmm. until eventually it was like okay just i feel like what them held my hand and we just did it yeah you know and um part of me doing it was as a practice to kind of learn to love myself like Hmm. um as i am yeah do you know what i mean like and see that no matter what kind of extras are there or what extras are taken away like so far as i feel loving of myself Mm -hmm. and i learn to um love myself in kind of every form especially the form that i would have thought i would like if you would have asked me a couple years ago would you ever like rock short hair i would look at you like you're mad Mm. like no way like me i like big hair Mm -hmm. loud hair you know what i mean so to do that that was a practice of um just like self growth and self love for myself yeah and i oddly enough i actually began to began to really really love it nice to the point where i shaved even shorter like oh yeah and then tinted it and then yeah, yeah it's exactly. like orange your color now it is yeah when i did it that that, that time mm. so i cut it off and i dyed it yeah blonde and pink oh okay. yeah but it was like a tint you couldn't Girl. really see the pink was like a tint. nice an interesting combination of colors. yeah i looks fantastic awesome if i do sure say so did. myself yes please <laughs> yes okay uh that's, that's that's like super beautiful it's funny because you know um i did the same thing um 
what's it called now yeah at some point in my life you know um yeah fresh start tara and then i cut my hair uh <laughs> yeah it was a struggle i'm like no 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 yeah. i can't like i have a small head i have a round head like oh my god i i, I now have to start wearing a wig so what's now the essence of cutting the hair when i want fresh you know breeze on my head yeah. and whatnot mm-hmm. so yeah it was a struggle but eventually i did it and so oh, i had people telling me you look beautiful like yeah. you know like it's fine and whatnot so yeah um there's that okay fiona your turn yeah, so <laughs> tell us I yeah i did not cut my hair yeah i, I did want to cut it actually, I never got join the, us fiona yeah. join us. <laughs> i never got the let's say ginger okay yeah. i never got enough of the mm. ginger to get it done sometime last year yeah mm. sometime last year mm-hmm. i wanted to actually cut my hair right as well. the first start as well because mm-hmm. i went through something and i felt like no nah, i needed to cut my hair i yeah. wanted to be a whole new person mm. but yeah back to the question of how um the switch for you yeah 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 yeah. i've always felt so um for a really long time in fact i think back when i was like um in uni Mm -hmm. when i got into uni Mm. yeah at first my mom used to let me fix my nails i wasn't really allowed to do makeup and all of that stuff Mm. you know there were limitations to the things Mm. i could do and not do Mm -hmm. but as soon as i got the permission to do those things i got to realize i don't really need it to feel beautiful like i feel Mm. beautiful i feel like a body every day Mm. but Mm -hmm. there's that extra energy that it brings like Mm. when i have my lashes hair done nails done everything i feel like a body like an extra body Hmm. Mm -hmm. Body okay awesome ladies get in on this one and tell us like how you felt about or rather how you feel about yourself you know when you do not have makeup and nails and hair and everything done and when you do like tell us the difference whether or not you feel the same way or they are like different feelings for you zero seven zero zero one zero five one one zero five one in essence ladies and gentlemen on girlish today we are asking if you think the whole doing of nails and hair and makeup you know wearing wigs expensive ones bone straight blah 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 do you think all these things make a woman more beautiful guys you're welcome to the conversation as well tell us what you think i mean at the end of the day i think this is just like asking you guys whether or not you prefer your women with you know the whole makeup thing and whatnot i know some guys who say i want my woman to have her cornrows on you know her low cut is fine you know you get like yeah 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 yeah, yeah. because guys be saying a lot of stuff yeah (laughs) but they don't mean it yes they don't even mean what they're saying where your natural here yeah wonderful when you now see it, the girls that like a lot of guys tend to go for yeah, yeah, yeah. will be the ones who like, you know, look like the Instagram baddies. Right. The one they've got mm-hmm. the bone straight yeah. leave. The one they've got like, you know, lashes done, yep. lipstick, mm-hmm. makeup Long popping, nails. contour, mm-hmm. nails mm-hmm. done, everything. Do you know what I'm saying? So cut it out. Yeah. <laughs> Just do not call us up and lie. Do you understand? Tell us Tell the honest truth. truth. Like seriously, keep it 100 with us. We we just yeah. want to hear your point of view. You know, it's it's so, I, I, I remember uh, one time, uh, I think before I moved to Lagos, when I used to attend weddings and whatnot, I would, you know, because I used to believe, well, I still believe, I mean, because there are some guys out there who actually like, you know, the babes natural and whatnot. I would go to weddings intentionally without wearing makeup. Mm. Like, I'll just be there, probably just have lip gloss on and whatnot, thinking that, oh yeah, the right one will find me because after all, he's looking for natural, he's looking for, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but then you go there and you're seeing, you know, <laughs> uh, what he's striking with the one that has makeup on and you know she's, i'm like okay I, I don't think this works so i don't think these guys have been yeah. honest with us and whatnot yeah but you know one thing i'll say mm. well, i do know there are guys out there who yeah. are natural like i remember True. fun there story are. yeah so there's this guy i was seeing right mm. and like every time i would like do my hair yeah he would never comment he would never say no. nothing oh really right? then the one day i just I, you know what you were like just quickly go to the hairdresser just remove your cane rose you know and that break between you're about yeah, to get your hair done yeah, yeah, yeah. so i just went to go quickly see my hair wasn't done it was just out that's the first time you ever commented on my hair oh my god you look so nice and oh. then, so yeah wow. I, like it I like, like that. it did mm. i'm not gonna lie i felt i, was, I wasn't sure how to feel because on the one hand it was like oh like me i didn't like myself like this you know, you with that. Like, yeah but then on the other hand i'm mm. like so we're ice painting you before all the other time when i'm really going in yeah. like yeah. i mean all these efforts and you're not recognizing yeah. like get a grip yeah. guy but i think with that wedding thing i don't know i mm. don't know if it's the yoruba baby me or what <laughs> but i just feel like when you go to like certain places mm-hmm. like that's the time do yeah. you know what i'm saying i think when it's like every day mm-hmm. okay girl by all means do that but it can be much mm. but i feel like there's spaces where you get to just really really like come correct j- just come put your 100. best foot forward you mm. know what i mean and, and i think that's why you know like that 
going to weddings i wouldn't even I, i'm not gonna lie i wouldn't feel no way if, mm. I, if i went like natural mm. and a guy didn't really check for me because like i feel like when w- how do i say this now yeah like when you go out you want to be able to like see okay this is what like someone looks like mm. at their best mm-hmm, do you know mm-hmm, what i mean mm-hmm. like obviously you want someone who's gonna love you you know at every stage of yeah, you right yeah but like there's certain spaces we enter in where it's like you peacock hmm and mm. it's like they're coming out them too they want a peacock they yeah. want to see a girl peacock that's how i see it okay yeah. i think i see it the same way too mm. actually when it comes to like weddings and certain spaces yeah yeah i just feel like you want to like really bring out that all you want to bring all that mm. yeah so to what end that's not my, my next question but don't answer that uh let's <laughs> take a little <laughs> breather when we return <laughs> we will continue the conversation it's girlish on city 105 on fm let us in on what you think about you know um whether or not you feel a woman is most beautiful or more beautiful when she has you know hair done nails done makeup on basically there's three like major things you know like do you think she's more beautiful as a guy and of course ladies i did ask that you share with us whether or not you feel the same way when you have um, no makeup on and when you have makeup on like when you look all natural and when you have all the extensions and stuff going on for you zero seven zero zero one zero five one one zero five one just before the breather we stopped at um uh bukola and fiona feeling yeah extra 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 you know hyper and um you know uh <laughs> you know m- m- more baddies I'm, I'm looking for the word now <laughs> <all> the <laughs> extra when, spicy yeah extra when when you have all that all that going on so i asked like to what end right like when you do all of that what, what do you hope to get out from doing that does that make sense i mean it's yeah really just um an expression of like your mm. your final form in this moment right <laughs> i don't know how else to say it mm. like i feel like mm-hmm. you know when people talk about like i've not even reached my final form yet like, yeah you just yeah. get better, right. and better. yeah like yeah. i feel like when you get done up when mm-hmm. you like it's the same way like guys when they get a haircut mm-hmm. you can go from like a two to like a six yeah because your hair is fresh mm-hmm. do you know yeah. what i mean mm-hmm. like there's th- something about like taking care of yourself and i think um Mm. taking care of yourself pampering yourself beautifying yourself Mm -hmm. i think is a form of self-care do you know what i mean it only becomes dangerous for me when you're doing it because of someone else someone else what others will think you're doing it because of such a just such a strong sense of self-loathing um and you like you can't go without it Mm -hmm. you can't not appear you know your nails can't not be done yeah your hair can't not be done like that's when it can become a bit harmful yeah but when it's just um you know, something that you do, mm-hmm. you know, when you're going out, yeah. when you want to feel good. Maybe you're going out to dinner with your girls. Not even necessarily because a guy's going to be there. Maybe yeah. you're going out to dinner with your girls. Like, me and my girls, we literally will, like, do, like, girl dates mm-hmm. just because we want to mm-hmm. get dressed up. Mm-hmm. You know, because it's something it does for you. Like, me personally, I love the process of getting ready. I right. love it. No one talks to me. No one call my phone. Me and myself and my mirror for that time. <laughs> just meticulously. Just and my music <laughs> just getting it together just yeah. and it's like it allows me time to think yeah it allows me time to kind of like be creative and mm-hmm. be artistic in right. putting myself together and mm. by the end of it you look at like look what i created look what i did for myself mm. do you know what i mean yeah. and you go out you feel good you just get to like enjoy yourself looking good and feeling good around your other friends and other people around mm. you who look good feel good and appreciate each other and just say you know out of everything we go through day to day mm. out of the work that we will be going looking haggard yeah. we're tired all yeah. the time yeah. just a, it's, a, it's a time to appreciate yourself for mm. me i feel like yeah okay yeah. all right yeah i agree mm. with that um it's not really about the reaction you're going to get from people the opposite. yeah okay yeah so for me it's about how good it makes me feel how mm. confident it makes me mm. feel so like i like to get dressed up i want to smell nice i want my hair to be done so I feel this is about that that dopamine that mm. my brain releases when I feel really confident and beautiful. That's just what it's about for me. Awesome. City FM. Hola. Mm. Try again. 0700-1051-1051. Leave us messages on WhatsApp 909-916-440-033 p.m. in the city of Lagos. <sighs> <sighs> you know what keep those thoughts in um yeah so i mean i want to touch ooh, I, yeah I, i'll call it sensitive at this point yeah the next question i want to ask about this but yeah hold on hello 
Hello, baby. How you doing, baby girl? What's up? Welcome to the show. Hi, it's Tonya. Tonya, it's good to hear from you. Hope you had a great weekend. Yeah, and you? Okay. I did, I did, I did too much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, now talk yeah. to us. Mm -hmm. So, um, I really don't like makeup that much. Right. Because, yeah, I don't feel, like, I don't feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. I just love to see my skin glow. Mm -hmm. I just want to look natural. Yeah. Because I have this, I have long nails, natural. Natural, okay, okay. Lashes, yeah. Yeah. And I have, um, my uh should i say my uh what are you calling it oh oh god oh god, oh god. brows let me just say i just yeah yeah okay kind of long so i don't feel comfortable putting this eyes whatever eyelash I feel, yes. yeah i feel i feel i'm not seeing i'm not seeing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, the first day the first day i tried it yeah i pulled it up instantly because i told this lady this thing is too long i can't even see mm. i can't i can't even see anything I, i'm going to party to impress so i just i cleaned up my makeup mm. i went to the party mm -hmm. but i really don't like people putting too much makeup on their face because they want to impress someone mm. i don't buy the idea you should like or you should choose or love to be natural and okay. present yourself take good care of yourself just have this self-care for yourself that's all all right tony let me ask you one question before i let you go do you think okay. you do not like too much makeup because you have a great skin so to speak let me just say to me i have a great skin because i don't joke with my skin i right. love to see my skin glow you spend money on your skin i hmm. spent i spent <laughs> don't worry <face laughs> i know so chocolates on my cleanser right Tuna and everything. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Tonya. <laughs> 0700 1051 1051. Yeah, that was my next sensitive question. Um, I mean, Tonya said it. I have a great skin. And as I have noticed, yeah, um, most ladies, you know, tend to be comfortable, n natural because they have that glowing mm -hmm. skin they have that you know they've, they've spent money on it some of them like it came from some god exactly actually but some not. you know they, they just i know <laughs> instead of me spending money on makeup like this every time how about i just buy you know all these products that will make my skin glow naturally when i take pictures it's like i have makeup on foundation on and blah 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 you know so it boils down to that at the end of the day it boils down to the skin do you agree like how comfortable you feel in your skin yeah like is, is does that make sense yeah yeah it does make sense actually. okay so yeah i think that definitely um contributes to how confident you feel in your skin without makeup mm. because if you naturally have great skin or yeah if you naturally have great skin mm -hmm. really you don't feel the need to use makeup all the time right mm -hmm. so obviously you're going to feel good because mm -hmm. you know your skin is great but like if you had really bad skin you're struggling with acne, yeah you want to cover up cover so up. many other things mm. you know skin blemishes basically yeah you're definitely want to, going to want to cover up more okay. it takes a lot of practice and very and uh, intentionality yeah. to get to a place where you have a lot of skin blemishes mm -hmm. and then you still feel very confident okay yeah hello yeah hello okay. are you sure you you're, you're i think you should call us back <laughs> okay so I, I i'm looking at um bukola and fiona yeah and i mean i can see Bukola skin all chocolatey like blended like it's the same it's not like you know she has you know darker arms and then Do you know, know darker face crazy. and whatnot what you know will say that but when i look at my skin i'm like oh my god these marks it's, it's what happens of course, we're very judgmental yeah we're ourselves. so judgmental yeah yeah. yeah you know when 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 i get to uh, your, your, your skin is soft oh my god your skin is fresh i'm like i just look at myself in the mirror i'm like god what can i do about this face what can yeah. i do about yeah. this yeah. you know but someone else is looking at me yeah, as like yeah, oh my yeah, god yeah, i love your different. skin i'm mm -hmm. like sister i love your skin <laughs> <laughs> you know but yeah so it's like i can see it all glowy like your bukola is like you know dark skin on the dark not so dark like chocolate like caramel that's what they call it now abby and then <laughs> <laughs> you know fiona is on the lighter you know the lightest like on you both mm -hmm. yeah so i mean she can even you're wearing a lipstick without makeup on yeah i don't think i'd come out great looking like that if i just have lipstick on i'll look funny <laughs> i'll look like those people that sell goro <laughs> <laughs> cola nuts <Right. laughs> yeah uh, so it's like i am trying to understand mm -hmm. mm. 
uh, from both of you like why why this makeup thing maybe i can understand not even the hair because honestly before i even got sold into buying wigs and whatnot mm. it's okay while though so what was really? i even doing what were you into then I d- yeah that and maybe just braids right mostly m- mostly those uh braids braids I, b- wigs now nah, it was when i moved to lagos so i wasn't wearing wigs all my life but in then Canada you could be whatnot. a body with braids actually. true okay true <laughs> yeah, exactly. yep yeah <laughs> i know i know so but it's like it's like now if if, we, if if we do not have those done for some of us if we don't have those you know the braids done mm. like i said before i used to f- I I uh, when when in sc- when I was in school, I didn't used to do makeup, mm-hmm. nothing. Mm. Probably just white powder and Vaseline, not mm. even lip gloss, Vaseline. <laughs> and then I'm out. Sometimes I don't even wear earrings, yeah. wow, you know. Okay. And I would turn heads. I'm not. I'm not even capping. I'm serious. Like yeah. it's like Tell I step out. Let us know she's been bad from there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, but then I'm, I'm I'm wondering where what happened, what changed. Mm-hmm. Growing like in school, university, you come outside. I was stealing people's boyfriends, not intentionally. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Say, your man. I'm sorry, really <laughs> the man. Ah, <laughs> <I'll be laughs> you. No, but, like it was funny because um I would come out sometime and there's this guy. I can't even remember his name now. Is it after a man or something? He would just be like, you know what? You look very good today. Go to this guy. There's one um you call him con- concept a photographer. Go and take pictures. Tell him it's sort of me. You know, it's quite popular and whatnot. Ha! And I'll take the pictures and I'm looking fly. Hey, me too, me, she make up, me, she <laughs> like looking back now. It's like, okay, so what happened? Um, it's only now I'm trying to, you know, bring that back. I want mm. to go back to that girl who felt pretty, you know, without makeup, without nothing, mm. like flawless. And she would step out and feel confident and whatnot. Um, Do you know what I would say? Yeah. So you see when we have the conversation around mm. like filters on Instagram and right. people always talk about, you know, people can't post their picture. If With I, sounds. Filter, and like everyone has gone through that period yep. where you, mo- you will add your filter. Yeah. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it shows you uh, um, a more airbrushed version of yourself. Right? Yeah. But then like I remember there was a time where I was always using filters and mm-hmm. then like I stopped because right. I was like, I need to... Um, I was starting to not recognize myself with that filter. So if mm-hmm. I took a picture, mm-hmm. I wouldn't like mm-hmm. the, 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 just seeing my natural yeah. self. And it's like, but yeah. this is what you look like. Yeah. I also want to say the cameras be lying because I look at myself in the mirror and I look good. They mm-hmm. look at yourself in the camera, mm-hmm. you look a bit crazy. <laughs> but that's not the point. Mm-hmm. The point of this is, mm-hmm. I think it's the same with makeup. When you first start using, um, when you first start using makeup, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. like you get to see a version of yourself you've mm. never seen. And I think, yeah. especially as young women, like mm. the world throws so many insecurities at us. Yep. So when you now get this, you, you get to see Something yourself. Something new. Do you understand? Yeah. And it's like all these insecurities that have been thrown at you, you you get to essentially fix them hmm. through makeup. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And so you get so used to, this is what I can look like. Yeah. You know, that yeah. you, you start to lean away from what you, mm. what you, um what you actually look like and knowing like the beauty in yourself. And so I think it's a phase that many, many women go through. Yeah. And, I think what you're doing and saying that, you know, you're trying to go back, go back yeah. is so important mm. because then you get to a point where it's like, e- with, with or without, mm. I'm beautiful. With or without, I'm good. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And I think that's the important part. And I would say like to any like women or young women out there who maybe like, you might be listening to this and mm-hmm. feeling, maybe feeling a bit bad because yeah. you feel like, oh, well, I, c- I can't go out without makeup. Mm. And, you know, I'm going to say like, it's okay. Just take your time, but be intentional about, mm-hmm. you know, even if it's like let's say you wear makeup seven days a week cut it down six days give yourself one day for your skin to breathe and just slowly yeah. start to like yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean and then make it so that actually now you only wear makeup when and I'm talking from like from experience yeah. you now only wear makeup when it's like okay I've got somewhere to yeah. go do you know what I mean mm. and let's but just you, act the part exactly yeah. you mm. know and that's your time to really show out mm-hmm. and shine but know that you shine anyway Regardless. day to day do you yeah. know what I mean but it's just that extra bit of mm-hmm. love that salt bay yeah. Yeah. Salt I can be this today I can exactly. be that tomorrow yeah because I'm yeah. in charge and whatnot okay yeah. uh, I mean like super interesting um zero seven zero zero one zero five one one zero five one we'll be right back you've heard everything that Bukola and Fiona have said today um how do you feel about that again I ask you do you think 
it makes a woman more beautiful when she has her makeup on and you know hair done you know the bone straight and whatnot nails done and everything do you does it make her more beautiful or you personally do you feel you know like more beautiful or you feel the same whether or not you have all those things on zero seven zero zero one zero five one one zero five one um let's let's not forget the take home as um Bukola pointed out, you know, like, um, hello, it shouldn't define you. Hello, yeah, go ahead and do your makeup and whatnot. Feel what you want to feel when you do all of that. But don't let it take away from you um, how beautiful you are naturally, right? I- I'm saying, I'm, sp- I'm, I'm, I'm speaking English, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, d- don't let that, um, you know, take away how you see yourself when you have no makeup on. Because I believe at the end of the day... Um, not exactly not exactly um a mistake per se but I, i'm here thinking like okay so if we have daughters tomorrow we want to let them know that mm. all these things don't really matter like that you know oh that's what i'm thinking personally and like i just i just want her to know that she doesn't need all of that it doesn't define her yeah maybe as you grow as a woman you might look different than you did when you were in your 20s or in your teenage age um but yeah even when you grow you're you're still beautiful the fact yeah. that you now have pimples the fact that you now have you know you know some skin whatever it's, it's just it's, it's part of growth and you should celebrate that yeah. and not you know cover it up no let the world see you for who you are as mm-hmm. fine as you are you know brown skin girl and all of that mm-hmm. okay you know what i'm done so now she take over yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'll stop. <laughs> yeah so basically what's on your mind ladies uh for okay, God's yeah. Yeah. so drawing from what um Bukola said mm-hmm. earlier and how um filters and whatnot tend yeah, to sort yeah. of like heighten our insecurity mm. so there was this point of my life where i used to be called lashes fc right okay, you love FC. lashes yes i you would never see me without lashes Ooh. you would never catch me without lashes and such that i would make sure everybody who's hanging with me mm. had their lashes on i would put it fix it for you if need be nice. just so we know we're all yeah on, on freak basically yeah. And it got to a point where I started to feel very insecure about stepping out without lashes because mm. I started to feel like my eyes were too small yeah. and I could not go out without lashes anymore. Mm. Mm. I just found myself addicted to lashes, so to say. But somehow it got to a point where I started to feel like, hey, these lashes don't necessarily define me. Because mm. like, it got so bad that if I step out without lashes, I would feel so insecure, so uncomfortable, so mm-hmm. not confident, Incom- basically. Incomplete, like ah, something's yeah, missing. Something and- is really, really missing. Yeah. Very self-conscious and all of that but mm. then i had to like rethink i'm like oh no like this is not who i am this is not what i want to be yeah. like in as, la- in as much as i feel really beautiful with these lashes mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. they don't define me i shouldn't i shouldn't start to feel like if i step out without lashes mm. i'm incomplete or i'm not the same for you anymore yeah mm. so yeah awesome i mean I, I i like that you know we we all I, you see that lashes thing i feel like a lot of people went through that phase mm-hmm. yeah. but that lashes like i can't step out with la- lashes mm. kineko, kineko. It's like oh i wish i had i wish i had i wish i had listen you're fine just the way you are you you're are. beautiful just the way you are Absolutely. um yeah <laughs> it's not like today is something that went next day or what now we just <laughs> chose to talk about this today because yeah. it's important that we remind ourselves of these things every once uh in a while and i know that there are some people who feel like they probably do not have they're not in a relationship because uh, mm-hmm. you know of how they look naturally so you Listen. have to wear that like no. let me tell yeah. you something. if you're in a relationship for that reason actually then you it's know, du- is you, is you don't want to be doomed in a, you don't yeah. want to be in a relationship for that reason mm-hmm. because it's definitely not going to last forever yeah. you're not going to have that beauty yeah. what happens if you, you pass the night and mm-hmm. take not, not even what? that what it, what happens when you're getting older what happens if you, right. you go into an accident and then you know you 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 have to get maybe yeah, surgery yeah, yeah. or a scar mm. or come on but also, That's I think one okay. thing I always say, mm. which I know to be true, is there's someone for everyone. Definitely. Like, listen, yeah. there'll be someone that I think is the most unattractive person, but they will be, lo- someone will love them Nothing. with of all course. of their heart. Do mm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and because it's at the end of the day, like, my opinion doesn't matter. Mm. Like, people's opinions don't matter. I yeah. think when you, when you find the love of yourself, you will attract the love for you, like, mm. ultimately. So, the if you are thinking oh i'm not in a relationship because i don't look like this mm-hmm. or i don't wear this mm-hmm. or i don't mm-hmm. need, like do my makeup like that yeah start with doing the love for yourself because that self-love will exude from you and it will attract the right love for you yeah. do you know what i mean mm-hmm. ultimately like fiona said 
beauty fades looks fade do you know what i mean it's not about that but with with the passing time with passing changes mm-hmm. one thing that should remain is how you love on yourself yeah. so do the work to to maintain and also yeah. build that love mm. it's not a linear journey it's not a straight line yeah. there's going to be days where there are days where like and let's be clear I love myself, mm-hmm. but <laughs> there are days where I'm like, oh, you look horrible yeah. today. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are yeah, days where days. you don't feel as yeah. good about yourself. Yeah. Um, and But you can't let those days like define you. Like we go again tomorrow. Get over it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like mm. we like. No, I'm not even gonna lie. It's not even get over it immediately. There's some days where I, I just need a day to just feel ugly. Yeah. We go again tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And tomorrow I'm like, oh, actually, no, yeah. you're, you're cute, girl. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So you don't don't beat yourself up if you feel like you're maybe you feel like oh you're not doing so great mm. in the self love journey. Mm-hmm. It's a journey, which means it goes up, it goes down. It's a gradual but process. Exactly. Too. But yeah. it's about staying on it and just doing what you need to do for yourself and all the right people. The people are gonna affirm you. Mm-hmm let you know how amazing you are who are going to see the beauty from you inside and out like yeah. will show up around you you just have to stay on there and commit to loving yourself mm. okay there's this weird yeah. thing that happens to me yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so for every day that i leave my house and i feel like oh i don't look so good yeah I get so many compliments. Same. I'm like, those are the days. Are you're so yeah. Clearly. I'm like, yep. I'm telling you, but I those are the days yep. you get the I most. Terrible. Like, 100% I yeah. agree. Oh, I didn't 100% agree. You get, yep. get the most like people yep. like, like, oh, you look so nice. I don't, I don't, I don't, like I'm guys feel. talking to you and I'm like, are you serious? I'm like, really? Like, I'm so down today because of how I saw myself in the mirror. What are you saying? Yeah. yeah. Nah, it happens. Okay, interesting. Um, so one final question. I asked this before. I think um, uh, on the medium edition or was it the other one? Yeah, one past edition, Sha. Um, so, Bukola and Fiona, mm-hmm. you're going on a first date. Mm. Are you wearing makeup or not? I mean, again, it depends. Yeah? It depends. My headspace. <laughs> like, nah, do you know what uh, like, okay. like, It's like, where we're going. Oh. I've gone on dates, first dates, where I've not worn cap. Okay. That was... Ca- oh, I lied like a liar. No. So, the level okay. of makeup will be determined. Oh, so, okay. like, my my day-to-day, like, mm-hmm. basic makeup, mm. I'll, like, fill in my eyebrows. Okay. And maybe put some concealer around my eyes. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's it. So, but have I ever gone on a first date with no makeup? don't think so i don't think so okay i, I have okay. a lot of time yeah i, I just have. put on my red lipstick yeah and good to go <laughs> nice awesome yeah. that's really still makeup depends. that's still makeup fiona don't don't say it like that doesn't count you put red actually, lipstick on okay yeah, actually see, so okay. i put concealer I, I have, on my eyes you right, put that, lipstick on your true, lips that counts so actually. just minimal yeah so Little. minimal makeup yeah We're i've all, actually gone on I've, I've actually still gone on dates first dates without any without anything yeah, yeah so it really depends on like my headspace yeah yeah and where we're going to mm. as well. Or who the person is, no? Uh, mm. Who the person is doesn't really count. It's okay. about me, really. Yeah. Right, yeah. And where we're going to. Awesome, ladies. Thank you so much for coming through. Um, let's you. find you on social media and connect so that ladies can follow you and you can motivate them <laughs> to be beautiful in their own skin and not let, you know, makeup and all the things of this world determine their worth. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so you can find me on Instagram mm-hmm. at ibukola. That's I-B-U-K-O-L-A. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's at the Fiona Davis. That's at the H E F I O N A D A V I E S. Alrighty, underscore T T A R R A, and of course City One Zero Five One everywhere on social. The Super Drive Time Show with Casey and I continues in a jiffy. Do not go nowhere.